Washington's Mount Rainier is the third most dangerous volcano in the United States. And geologists have no doubt that one day it's going to erupt again. But global warming and its surprising effects on the mountain could mean that landslides and a host of other issues are just as challenging. It's one of the sort of indirect problems with some of the, the what we might call side effects of global warming is that when things like glaciers retreat and expose much more sediment than rivers are used to, that can translate into problems downstream that we weren't expecting. Right now, Rainier's 26 glaciers are retreating with warmer weather and more frequent storms. Rainier has the most glaciers of any other volcano in the country. Well, there's been a lot of uh, debris flows and landslides off Mount Rainier in the last, uh, in the last decade or so. And, and it's an interesting story because it seems to be one of the connections is that not only is there a lot of rainfall, and it usually takes a lot of rain to generate landslides, but the glaciers in Mount Rainier have been retreating back and exposing uh, walls of, of gravel and rock and um, sand that were buttressed by the glacier. So the ice was holding this stuff up on the slopes. And as the glacier pulls back, that stuff is exposed. And so if you get a lot of rain and you have a big steep loose slope, it's a, it's a recipe for generating a landslide. And of course that impacts the rivers downstream. This 100 year flood in 2006 was one of the worst in the park's history. But scientists say there will be more floods like this with long-lasting effects. During this flood, loads of sediment was dumped into the rivers downstream, causing massive sediment buildup and flooding the riverbed. The rivers are quite literally filling up with, with sediment, with gravel and sand and mud. Um, and that can make flooding problems worse because if you don't turn the rain off, the water needs to go somewhere. And if there's not room in the river, it spills out over the bank. If it builds faster than the floodplain around the river's building up, the river can be perched or can become perched up above the floodplain. And that's not a good situation because then when the water overtops the banks of the river, it has nowhere to go but down into the sort of the bathtub-like area that is the floodplain. Montgomery says the choice is to either dredge the rivers or let them spread out across the plains. But moving roads and infrastructure isn't an easy process. Experts agree that these climate-related problems will only get worse for Mount Rainier and the surrounding park. For Discovery News, I'm Casey D. Gardner.